New productivity tools from Dell. Welcome back to Textonation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Dell, our Senior Director of Client Peripherals, Mike Basor. Hi, Mike. Howdy. Great to see you. And also Director of Client Peripherals, Terry Yang. Hi, Terry. Hello, how are you? Great. So what can a new mouse and keyboard do to improve productivity? Dell put lots of thought, it seems, into the KB900 collaboration keyboard. And I think we'll start there. Terry, your team helped to design this? Yes, yes, Fred. Uh, I manage the product group and our team defines and develops the product. And we're super proud to introduce this you know, KB900. Let's start from there. You know, the theme of this uh, productivity for this keyboard was the hybrid work environment because everybody will be working in some portion of their time at home and office. What that basically means is that people will continue to use Zoom collaboration application or you know, uh, some other applications as well uh, uh, more than ever, especially compared with the you know, pre-pandemic period. So we partner with Zoom to come up with this world's first Zoom certified keyboard. Let me explain what that means. We have dedicated Zoom control buttons right above the arrow keys. And there are four buttons, which are mic mute unmute, camera on off, chat box open close, and screen share buttons, which magically appear when the Zoom meeting is on. And these buttons have the backlight indication of mute and unmute functionality for the complete peace of mind for the users. And what's interesting is that uh, these buttons will work when Zoom is not actually at the forefront of the screen. Meaning if, you are, if the user is multitasking, say writing an email on one side and Zoom is running on the other screen, these buttons will still work. The reason I highlight this feature is because there are some products out there in the market claiming that they can, you know, customize some of their function keys to control these, but the, the functionalities on Zoom. However, the, how they are implementing it is linking to the shortcut keys. So in order to uh, use the uh, functionality, the Zoom will always have to be forefront. So the user cannot do any other multitasking. And we also um, align this four buttons with a Latitude 9000 series, which has the same features on their trackpads so that customers using Latitude or decide to use external keyboard uh, in their home office or the dedicated office space with uh, external displays, they can enjoy the exact same experiences. And with that, uh, I hope that we don't uh, hear or have to say any more that uh, like something like, Hey, I'm sorry I was double muted or oops, I didn't know my camera was on. I think that era is over. This also works like, for example, I have our Dell SP3022 speakerphone, which is also a Zoom certified peripheral. So when I press, like I just did, it also shows up on the speakerphone too, right? So all of these things are integrated. It's not just with the Latitude 9000, but it's you know how it behaves with other peripherals that are also Zoom certified, right? So it's those nice little neat touches that you know we think are, are clear experience differentiators for our end users. Um, and also, one of what really kind of also makes this interesting is when you look at these sort of collaboration keys and things like that. We just completed a study with Forrester, or I should say Forrester just completed a study, right? And what they came back and are telling us is that Dell peripherals with the collaboration stuff that we're doing are increasing efficiency for end users by about 12% and operational efficiency for IT by about 33%. So we're seeing some really great benefits to organizations and individuals by going and doing this sort of activity. Now, there's also some uh, great backlighting that you have in this, in this keyboard that has, I guess, what you call hand proximity detection. Tell me about that. Yes. Um, it's not only coming with the hand proximity detection, but also it's coming with the ambient light detection, too. So you will automatically adjust the lighting, that backlighting of the keyboard based on the, the ambient light uh, environment. And also this only lights up when the user is close by. So now the user can work in any environment, dark or bright, 
with a comforting eyes and you don't then the users don't have to you know look down on the keys to find the right keys to punch in terrific and this is a rechargeable keyboard using usb c uh, tell us what people can expect when it comes to battery life Absolutely. You know, since there are lots of lighting associated with all these features, whether it's a zoom control or the backlight on just the, you know, the keys, it has some implications on the battery life. So we added the rechargeable battery, a lot bigger than, you know, what the industry standard is. So to provide the longest battery life and also some intelligent features. I'll, let me come back to that uh, intelligent features later on. Intelligent features like ambient lighting or the proximity sensor to you know, save the battery. And the, with the type C cables to recharge the battery, what we are enabling is just a single minute charge to work full day uh, without any you know, concerns on the battery life. It's a fast charge. So if it is running low one minute, it's gonna get you through the whole day. Absolutely. That's just terrific. Mike, maybe you wanna chime in about uh, some of the customization capabilities, what people can do with this. Yeah, I mean, what's really great here is like we have our Dell Peripheral Manager software, right? And our entire portfolio or a good portion of our entire portfolio can be managed through this Dell Peripheral Manager software. And what this allows you to do is go take advantage of those customization keys. It shows your, you your device status, like, for example, how charged is your keyboard right now? It'll give you notifications, for example, if you need to go plug it in because you happen to be running low on the battery. It shows you what devices you have your item paired with. So if you've paired it to multiple devices, because right, this will support multiple devices, you can control your illumination, right? So he's got it down as adaptive. You can set it up as manual. And if you're in some situation where you just don't want it to light up at all, you can turn it off. The other nice cool thing about it with controls is, you know, Terry sort of mentioned this, but like the software then allows you to turn on single or double tap, right? So like my personal preference is I like single tap for my controls, right? So when I want to turn mute on or off, I just touch it once. We keep that as default as a double tap, you know, maybe because that's what people have, but those are the, or, or prefer. And then of course, if you've got a function that for some reason you want to turn off, the software also allows you to turn off a functionality. So like, if you don't want to control the camera from the keyboard, you can flip the button and that turns that camera off and that button will no longer work. Right. So it's highly customizable. 15 keys across the top that you can also go customize in terms of what you want. So really cool stuff. Really terrific. And of course, you guys didn't stop there. The keyboard pairs nicely with the MS 900 Premier Rechargeable Mouse. Tell us about some of the features here. Of course, Fred, um, we also heavily invested a lot on the mouse, but slightly different from keyboard, where we focused more was on the comf premium comfort of the product, because you know, this is the only product that the user will have put their hands on probably, you know, most of the time. So we invested heavily on, uh, on the material that we use on the, uh, on the, on this product. So to, you know, instead of using the, some technical word, we normally joke around and they call it a rubberized plastic. We put it on the side of, at the grip of the mouse. We will also use some premium material on the mouse feet so that it can glide very smooth, smoothly across any surface. And not only glides very smoothly on any surface, we added, um, uh, the, the trick sensor at the mouse so that it, it can, it can actually, uh, work on any surface, even on glass. That's pretty tricky uh, from a technical point of view, isn't it? Because of the reflections, et cetera. I guess we have done a lot of incubations and we added some cost investments there too. Interesting. So that is also rechargeable with a USB-C port. Tell us about the, the battery life on, on the mouse. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's also, like you said, using the USB-C charging cable, which enables fast charge. So with a single minute uh, charge, you can use uh, half day of mouse. Please note that mouse, we use mouse more than the keyboard so that it's only half day compared to the keyboard of a full day. And with a single charge, you can use the mouse for three months, which is amazing length compared to any other comparable products in the market. So besides the, the great design here, tell us, tell us more about the functionality of this mouse, some of the things that make it special. 
Sure. Um, this is the first time that we introduced four-way scroll and Dell mouse. Uh, for the vertical scroll, we implemented fast and notch to scroll, which can be switched with a click of a button right next to the scroll or with a little pressure on your fingertip to move to the you know, fast scroll. What it does is that for those users, let's say having to scroll down multiple times or hundreds of lines uh, very quickly, this fast scroll will enable uh, that, uh, that move with a single scroll, you can go down a couple hundreds of lines. And also, uh, some people we learned that this fast scroll is a smooth scrolling without any click, click, click uh, feeling. They just love the smooth feeling of it. So even if they don't have to scroll hundreds of lines, they just use it uh, as it, uh, for the normal use case. Additionally, we added a side scroll, learning that there are a lot of people using, you know, for example, massive Excel file. What they need to do is use the mouse and click the button on the side scroll and move around. But instead of doing that, the side scroll can uh, easily enable the users to go left or right for in the large files that they have to work with. We added the side scroll on top of one of the side buttons so that we're not hurting our design with more buttons, complication of the look and feel. But the users can, you know, enjoy this minimalized premium design and still enjoy the, the, the functionalities of the side scroll. Yeah, and you know, one thing that I'd also like to kind of share, just like a personal story, right? One of the things I really like about the mouse is the DPI is adjustable from 800 to 8,000, right? And somebody might say, well, you know, what is that and why does it matter? Well, here's essentially why. So when I have my notebook and I'm just using my notebook, I've got a full HD screen right, which has got a certain number of pixels and a 14 inch space. And so if my DPI is set lower, right, it's going to go scroll more slowly. And I feel like I've got more control over that space. If I set it really high, right, it's going to move really, really quickly. But then when I move to my desktop setup, right, when I'm working from home, for example, I've got a 49 inch ultra wide quad HD display. So a ton more real estate on my monitor. So there I like to turn my DPI up so that I can move my mouse across my screen, that ultra wide screen, a whole lot easier and a whole lot faster. So that variability and experience and when I'm using it and the ability to go change that on the mouse, I think is a really great feature that I enjoy using. And uh, Mike, I love the statistics you had about uh, improvements in productivity. Um, is there a place where people can go to to take a look at uh, that kind of data? The the good thing is, is we do have this Forrester paper out uh, in English right now, and we're working on translations into some other languages. So yeah, that's going to be available for the public to go look at and take advantage of. Um, you know, one of the other things is that we did hit on here is like the functionality of the portfolio. Right. So another piece of information that we could also share with you is a link to our e-guide, which is a nice interactive tool that really gives you an overall look at the Dell portfolio and, and what it is and how it can play together, whether you're at home, whether you're roaming, whether you're in the office, you know, and what devices can really help you be the most productive and the most effective where you are. You know, and I guess I got to throw out another stat coming out of this this paper here, right? It's like, you know, when we went and we looked at stuff, right? Dell peripherals, right? Doing the stuff that we did with IT, we were able to cut down setup time by about 20% was one of the things that we heard from them. So we also got another really great statistics that user satisfaction with the Dell portfolio. So the end users on a one to 10 scale, right? We don't know what the, the pre-Dell peripheral number was, but we do know that it went up by two and a half points when they moved to the Dell ecosystem with the Dell Peripheral Manager. So, you know, a substantial improvement in how end users perceive their peripherals and how they felt about what they were using. So, you know, we look at that as, you know, a great amount of success in what we're trying to achieve. And you're also giving people uh, kind of a choice. There's some versatility when it comes to the connectivity on, on the mouse anyway, right? Uh, yeah, Terry, you wanna take that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have, you know, our focus is to provide the most seamless connectivity to the users, the connect, uh, you know, first out of box experience. Uh, 
And we added a couple of things here, which is not may not may may not be new to uh, some of the products out there, but we can combine all of that together here. One is the multi-device connectivity. As people are using, I mean, working from home more, we have learned that more people are connecting to their work PCs and uh, uh, desire to move between you know, personal devices like tablets and, and phones. Previously, the users will have to have multiple devices to use multiple, key, I mean, multiple keyboards and mice to use multiple devices. Now with this product, you can just press one but, uh, toggle button and you can switch between three different products. So that's a multi-device connectivity. Another one is the Dell pair. You know, we have increasing number of people using Bluetooth connectivity, especially with the, you know, laptops, uh, coming out with the less and less ports and the Bluetooth connectivity becoming more reliable and stable. And we added a Dell pair, which is providing a most seamless uh, the Bluetooth connectivity experience to the customers. It is similar to how Microsoft is implementing their Swift pair, but there are two differences. For the Swift pair, uh, the icon, the pop-up that you see is a simple messaging that, hey, a Bluetooth device is detected. The Dell pair will highlight exactly which model, which device is detected with the image and the model name with a, a little better user-friendly UI. And the second difference is the distance. If it's in, if you're in a crowded environment and if you turn on the Bluetooth device and if you have a lot of Windows devices near you, every single device will have a pop-up. Hey, new devices detected. And there's a risk that some other people may click the button and connect it. We have controlled the distance of the signal for the Dell pair so that only the device that is closest to you will detect this keyboard and mouse and pop up the window so that you can safely connect to your own device without risking some other people using your mouse and keyboard. Very clever. Let's talk about uh, availability and pricing. You know, we have already launched this product in North America uh, on, on January 31st as a standalone, individual standalone products. The, the price for the keyboard is $129.99 and the mouse is $109.99. Uh, we will introduce a combo product, which is a single package with the keyboard and mouse together in April in North America. For the, the rest of the regions, this product will be available in middle of May. And for more information, I think I know, Where's the best place for people to go? Dell.com, of course. <laughs> of course, Dell.com. Terry and Mike, thank you so much for the innovations and for taking time with us. Thank you. Much, Fred.